So finally Xiaomi has launched MIUI 9 for Redmi Note 3 in stable builds. But I don't get it man, the Snapdragon 650 is still based on Android Marshmallow in February 2018. It's just sad for us and there are Snapdragon 625s getting Android Nougat or Audio. This is just not fair I guess. But it's Xiaomi, it, we can't do anything. So if you are running stable builds of MIUI on Redmi Note 3, you should get an update and you can check it by going to the settings about phone and system updates. There will be a MIUI 9 update for you guys and if you are a custom ROM user like us or like me, then you should install it by TWRP Recovery. Then how to install it with TWRP Recovery? So in this video, I will show you guys that. And to do this, make sure you are using official TWRP 3.0.2 slash 2 only. If you use ZCX TWRP or Red Wolf TWRP recovery, I will be helpless. Like, I can't help you if you face into boot loop with that recoveries. So only use official TWRP 3.0.2 slash 2. This is Tito back with another video and let's get started. So first, you need to download the ROM and lazy pressure zip file from the description box below. As you can see, I am on latest official Lineage OS 14.1 right now. So let's boot the phone into TWRP recovery. As you can see, I am using official TWRP 3.0.2/2 here. I will only recommend you using this recovery. So now, hit wipe. Now advanced wipe. Now wipe cache, Dalvik cache, system and data. Now swipe to wipe. Once done, go back, go back, go to install, locate the ROM and lazy pressure zip file in your storage, select the ROM and then hit add more zip button. Now select the lazy flasher zip and swipe to confirm flash. Do note that lazy flasher zip file is a must unless you really want to face a boot loop or lose your TWRP recovery. Once the flashing procedure is done, hit reboot system. You will see this no OS installed screen. Do not worry, just swipe to reboot. If you are rebooted into TWRP recovery again, just do not worry. Hit reboot, then system and you are done. Now it will boot into MIUI 9 normally and do note that the first boot can take up to 10 to 15 minutes. Just do not worry. Now let me complete the setup process quickly. I will be using the limitless theme here. Swiping from the left to right on the home screen will get you to Mi Home, which is kinda like Google now but with shortcuts like creating a note or calculator. By going into the settings, about phone, you can see this is still based on Android Marshmallow 6.0.1. It's Mi UI 9.2 global stable build. The three finger screenshot gesture and all the other most MIUI 9 features are present over here, except for the features which needs Android Nougat. I will be switching off the phone and booting into TWRP to show you guys if we still have the recovery or not. And yes, as you can see, we still have it. Here, let me take some quick pictures without and with HDR to show you guys if the camera quality have been improved or not, you be a judge. This is taken without HDR and this is taken with HDR. Here is an example of Geo 4G Vault E calling working. Here are the benchmarks of this ROM. I got a whopping 91,000 score. Now let me open up some apps to show you guys the RAM management of this ROM. As you can see, most of the apps were not in memory as they started reloading. This is where stock Android works much better than any skinned user interface like MIUI. 
you may have seen me doing this on custom ROMs like AOS IP or Nitrogen OS. There the RAM management has been much better than this I gotta say. The performance of this stable MIUI has been pretty greatly improved I gotta say. App open up feels instant and if you wanna know the battery life, do follow me on Twitter from the description box below. I will be posting the battery life later today or tomorrow. Every other things like fingerprint scanner, VOLT video calling works fine, no issues there as it's a stable build. But Corsair MIUI has its own pros like this Compass app, you won't get it anywhere else. Or the calculator and other MIUI apps which works just great. So if you are into that, go ahead and stick with MIUI. So that wraps up this video guys, thank you so much for watching, hit the big thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe to the channel right here if you love my work, share this video with your friends if you feel like it. This is Tito from Kerry and Tech signing off, I'll see you guys in the next one, bye bye now.